Hello coin collectors, it's Frank from Hunter Rare Coins and in this video I'm going through my change for the last few weeks. As you know, I like to collect change to see what I've got and if anything in here is of value coming out of change. Here we go coin collectors. Now this is the most difficult of all of the coin hunt because I don't know what's in here. Everything is mixed up. From going out and collecting change from different venues and different places I end up at. Okay, there's a 20, 21, 20 cents. That's a good start. And of course, I don't know everything about coins, but I keep looking because you just never know what you're going to find when people give you change at shops or at the pub or wherever. But the problem is, everything in here is so. There's another 20, 21, 20 cents. And this could be another one too. Yes, another 20. So somewhere they've given me all of these 20, 21, 20 cent coins. Must have broken a roll or something when I did it. 1981. Mm -hmm. There's a $1 coin. From 2018, no. A twenty twenty two dollar coin. We've got so many of them; they can go back. Two thousand and one ten cent. Trying to remember what coin is what is super difficult. There you go. Another twenty twenty one twenty cent. Wow, that's four of them. I think somebody must have broken a. A bag or a roll. 2025. To have gotten that many of them. But there's quite a few weeks worth of change here. Okay, there's a bring them home, 20 cent. Lots of those around. I won't be keeping that coin. 2001 now. Lots of 20 cents. Were they 20 cents or 20 cents? I'm not quite sure. 2018. 2014. 1996. Not much there to go with. Nice shiny coin. Oh, 2020 10 cents. I'll be holding on to that. Another 20, 21, 20 cents. It must have come through a roll, surely. 2016. No, not much there. 1984. No, huge mintage. 2014. No. And so I've got a fair idea about coins and their years and what have you, but. Obviously not a total idea, not when you don't have a cheat sheet in front of you. There we go, there's William and Kate from 2011. I think that's a fairly high mintage coin, so that can go back to the bank as well. 2016, 2016 Anzac, that's definitely a keeper. Around the two million mark, I believe. 2019, $2, nope. Another 2021. Unbelievable. 2014. No. Oh, I picked up two coins there. That's not a good idea. Henry Parks from 1990, whatever. You can't read it there. But that's a fairly damaged coin. I don't think that's mint damage. I think that's just usage damage. No. 2006, not there. 
2005, nothing of interest there. Another 2021. Wow. That is a lot of 2021s. 2017. Nothing exciting in 2017 that I know of or can remember. A $2,002. Now I think they're about a $5 million coin. Bit of a double rim, but not in the greatest of condition, so it can go back. 1984, of course, the highest minted $1 coin. 2006. 2018, no, 20 cents. 1981. Nothing spectacular about that coin. And a 2009, 20 cents, no. Still got a few to go. 1994. Another 2021, 20 cents, wow. Unbelievable, 2001, would be nice if it was a state coin, but it's not. Oh, we're 20, 20, 10 cents. I'll keep that for a little while. We'll see how we go with that. You just never know, 2019, I won't be holding on to. 1981, no. So I just can't remember everything about low mintages and what have you, but we try. 1995, there's a Weary Dunlop. 1994, 1995, and 2011, 20 cents. And a 2020. Now I think there are as many, many of those, so they can go back to the bank as well. And another 2020. 2021, we don't know. We don't know about 2020s either, but... There's another 2021, wow. That's looking like a lot. 2016. No, nope. it'd be great if it was a decimal changeover. A 2010. No. Nope. A 2020 cents. No, that's not going to get us anywhere. No, a dancing man. End of World War II. 2005. It's not what we're after. 2009, not one either. 10 cent, and another 10 cent. 1968, I can't remember if it's a low mintage or not. 1984, the first year of the $1. And hundreds of millions of them. 2014, it's not going to be keeping. 2004, not a keeper either. 1975, I don't believe as a keeper. 1978, nope. So we're just winging it at the moment. 2014, and of course, in the two dollars, we want the 2011. Nope. 2008, no. 2006, no. Oh, another William and Kate Middleton from 2011. I believe that's a high mintage. I won't be keeping that. But what have we got here? Oh, another 2021. Wow. So many of them. 1977. 2016, no. 2010 is not going to get us anywhere. A 2020, 20 cents, I don't believe that's a good keeper. 2004, no. 2005, no. Okay, we're slowly getting through them. 1988. Another 2021. Wow, unbelievable. So many 2021s, 1983, uh, I think it's the 1993 we want in the uh, 50 cents. No, there's nothing special about 
that five cent. Don't know where we got a five cent from. 2014. Nope. 2010. It's not going to get us over the line. 1994. Nothing special about 2008. Okay, there's the coat of arms from 2001. Okay. Doubled the line around here, but... Nah, nothing great about that coin. 2001, nothing spectacular. 2018. Another $2 from 2016. And a $1 from 2015, if it was an Anzac would be nice, but it's not. 82 10 cent. And still lots of 10 cents, it's 2007. 1972. Uh, no, the 2019 doesn't get us anywhere. Uh, it's had a bit of a knife cut there in the 67. We're starting to get towards the end now. 1968, 2004, 2009. Unless something special comes up, we're not doing the greatest in this hunt. 2012. Uh, this is what you get in your trains. You just never can tell unless you look through it and see what you've got. Because I just put mine straight into the bag. Because you never can tell. 2020. No, I think there's lots of those 2020s. $2. It's not a keeper. 1984. Another five cent. I would love to find a double, double effigy. Five cent. Never found one. I've never seen one. Another 2021. Wow. 2010, no. 2016, it's not going to get us over the line either. A 2020, I don't need. 2021 to do it amazing. 1997, no. 2014, no. 2009, no. 1980, no. Another 2021, wow, that's a just unbelievable. I hope that there are low minties, that would be just fantastic. But we don't know at the moment, so we just gotta, wow, what's happened with that coin? That's been chewed out somehow. Probably been hit by a lawnmower or something. Oh, what have we got here? A 20 cent confident 2018. Now, I believe these came out as part of a newspaper production. I don't know that they're a very high mintage. I think that is just absolutely fantastic. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I'll check that out and get back to that later on in the at the end of the video, a 2020 I don't want. 1979. But of course, 2010. If I miss something and you know what it is, please let me know. Because it's really hard going through different mintages to actually know what's in there. That's the student design from 2014 on the 50 cent. 1999. Just a couple left now. Just a couple left. 1975. Another 2021. That is just so many of them. It's hard to say that they're going to be a low mintage. 1984. And our last coin, 2009. There you go. Commonwealth Age Pension. Last coin, 
Let's have a look and see what we've got. And we'll go from there. Okay, coin collectors, this is what we have. We have the 2016 Anzac, years of Anzac. At around 2 million, that's a pretty good keeper. The 2020 Jody Clark 10 cents. We don't know the mintage yet of those, so we will be holding on to those. We will find out at the end of the year at the RAM report. Now we have 2021 20 cents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen, twenty, twenty ones. I think that's not a bad, bad catch. We don't know what the mintage will be. If they're a low mintage and I've got them out of the one roll, that's pretty good. But our last coin is the find we've made. The 2018 Confident from the Anzac Spirit Collection. We don't know what the mintage of these are ever were i believe that these were put out as a whole set there was 15 maybe 18 of them wonderful coin just look at that absolutely wonderful coin with the poppies up here just amazing so there we have it that's a great great find i can't believe i found it in my change that's just amazing but that shows you what you can find in your change. You just never know. I always look for my coins to see what I can get. So I'm Frank from Hunter Rare Coins. You can give me the thumbs up. That would be fantastic. You can leave comments. I'd love to hear from people. And also you can subscribe to my channel, Hunter Rare Coins. I'm Frank, the Coin Detective, and I'll see you next time.